Hey, what's up? Welcome to the very first episode of World of Graphics. We're going to be talking about graphic design, typography, visual inspiration, illustrator tutorials, and much more. I'm your host, Mike Davis. I'm a graphic artist living and working in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'm one of the co-owners of Burlesque of North America, a graphic design and screen printing studio. If you'd like to check out some of my work, you can see some links below in the video description. Let's jump into the first episode. We are going to be talking about concentric circles. Concentric circles are groups of circles that all share a common middle point and grow out from there. They can be different sizes, different distances apart, all completely mixed and matched, just as long as they share a similar center point. They're super easy to draw and create in Adobe Illustrator, and that's what I'm going to be showing you today. If you're wondering where you might have seen some, you've probably seen them in logos such as Target, in nature such as water ripples and even onions, infographic type shapes, and this great Mexico 68 Olympics logo by Lance Wyman, one of my favorite designers, really shows how concentric circles can be used as more of a building block rather than just an endpoint. So let's jump in and start making some. I like to start with the fill color empty and any color for the stroke right there. Let's go ahead and set our stroke weight to 10 to start with. And if you click over here, get your ellipse tool or the circle tool going. And if you click and move it around, you can get sort of a free form circle shape, but as soon as you hold down on the shift key, it confines it to a solid circle. So let's go ahead and just make one at any size. Then if you go up to object, path, offset the path, All set. and then set it for anything larger than the width of 10 points. So let's start with 20 points. We can do a nice little tight ring for now. So 20 points. There you go. And then let's repeat that. And it converts it to inches. And then you can also grab some and do them in groups. So we were doing 20 for one, so if we grab three, we can offset the path by 60. So let's try this, 60 points, boom. So now we've got that many. Let's try again with some different sizes. Let's do a big old thick one. If you hold down shift when you're upping the stroke size, that'll go up by 10 instead of by one. So we got 50 points, so let's see what happens if we offset it by 51 points. Ah, nice. So you get the little thin space between. Boom. And then from here, you can start really playing around. Let's grab this and drag it down, but duplicating it. Uh, if you hold down the Option key and Shift, you can duplicate and pull it down into a straight line. And you got a second chunk of it right there. So if you click on the point selection tool, which is also just A is the quick command for that, you can select points and delete them. And now you've got these cool half circles, like these sort of onion ring shapes. Then you can do the same thing, drag them out, either bring them down or bring them off to the side, or even do it like a halfway point like this. Then if you hit uh, Apple D, that will just, or Command D, sorry, I just call that thing Apple. Um, Command D, that'll just duplicate what you just did. You can get a cool little pattern going. Drag that down again. And then, yeah, you can just keep experimenting and have these cool little shapes. So let's bring this guy, let's just delete this, whatever. So I want to try another thing bring this down here and then if you do the point selection tool again instead of clicking on just a point I'm gonna click on this whole side right there and hit the delete button and then that just takes out a, a little edge of the circle so then you can keep going and delete different shapes and come up with these nice cool patterns bam there you go let's try one more thing. I want to show you something that is kind of reminiscent of what uh, Lance Wyman was doing in the Mexico logo and this is what I like to do when I'm building a lot of my own custom type in Illustrator. 
Let's shrink this down so we have a little more space. So I'm gonna hit the S key for scale and enter. Then let's shrink this by 50%. So if we do the same thing, use the point selection tool to get rid of the bottom chunks, delete them, drag and duplicate this down. So hold Option and Shift, bring it straight down. And then I want to flip this upside down. There's two ways to do that. You can either use the rotate tool, which is R, and then that'll you know let you spin it around. Or I like to use the uh, reflect tool, which is O, is the quick command for that. And then you see the little center point there with the little light blue target. If you click above and then drag down, that'll let you reflect it there. So I like to hold down on shift so it goes completely straight and then let go and now you've perfectly flipped this vertically and now what you can do is click on this point hold down on shift and click on this point and then join them together so you can either go to object path join or you see there the uh, command J is the quick key for that so just keep repeating with the rest of these guys uh -oh. that happens sometimes So you see what we're doing, we're just combining everything here and making this cool O shape out of these concentric circles. There, and then the nice thing is you can select all these with the point select tool and you can move it up or down to change the size of it. And then from here you can just start playing around and getting some nice little ideas like let's say you wanna make the word con. So C O. Bring this guy over here again, and then delete all these bottom points, and then drag these guys down, and then there you go. So you can see concentric circle. Oh, look, concentric circles. Um, they're a great tool to start building your own patterns and logos, and just experimenting with shapes. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with them. So try experimenting and play around and see what you come up with. If there are specific things that you are interested in seeing me show you how to do or talk about here on the channel, let me know. And I look forward to making more videos and talking about graphics with you. Thank you for tuning in.